Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Okay. I'm Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Throck. That darn bartender. Throck. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. Okay, so then why did you kill Albert? We could ask him the obvious question. We'll get to that, I'm sure. So, w just tell us your story, uh, your version of events. Start at the beginning. What happened? We, we, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary'd gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. Yeah, so they all went crazy, and that's what's part of it, is none of them had control over themselves. They were all having this psychotic incident. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall, after is that darn warehouse, and me, uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. And we'll, we'll ask him this obvious question. What kind of... Uh, why do you... Your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you. Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. All right, so now we know two different bloodlines that have this feud and they are not kind to each other in actions or words, neither side. Uh, let's follow up on that. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. Well, saying stuff like that is not going to clear you of this crime because your actions looked deliberate. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. Okay, and we will find out this last bit of information here about the grand family that sheltered them. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? <laughs> so you're a newcomer, huh? Well, have you seen us around before? A newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head hunters of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. 
Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position I don't know how we're going to get around telling him. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. Oh, jeez. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. It's totally Perhaps accurate. I can offer something to grease your grinds. No, that's uh, blackmail. I still have a few bullets on me. So, no. You think you're the first person to offer? Not going to take bribe. any bribes. Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. So, I mean, granted, he wasn't in control of himself. None of them were, but he still did it. We have to report things as they happened. I mean, I'd hope we would tell them what we know about everybody suffering some kind of incident. Let's check out the Mind Palace. Lewis was affected by hysteria and Albert was murdered. Lewis was aware of his actions, or Lewis was mentally affected. I think that this is what we go with because it's what we've proven to, to see to proven true by everyone we've talked to and all the accounts is that whatever drove Albert to say things in the weird language and to wake up in a craze also then affected everyone around him so yeah Lewis was mentally affected and couldn't entirely control his actions Lewis was under mental influence. Lewis killed Albert Throgmorton while under some sort of mental influence. He couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. He could try to cover for him or else Robert Throgmorton will have his head. Yeah, but I don't know if even covering for him is... Yeah, so that's... We can directly affect that decision, but I'm pretty sure... That we should go with what we what seems to be reality. Although he does have such a hatred naturally for them, you know, he calls them apes. Clearly, he's not a fan of the Throgmortons. I don't know. I mean, if you think about it, the other guys kind of like passed right out where they were. The one guy died. And then William kind of just hung out where where they were. Why would this guy... Why would he hunt him down like that? And then he, like, he ended up on the spikes with a bullet right in his head. Hmm. That's a tough one. If we go with Lewis was aware of his actions... Psychic influence or not, Lewis was out to murder Albert Throgmorton. He had a motive, too. The mutual hatred between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Yeah. That's a big one. He said he wasn't himself. And that it was like a blood haze. But I wonder if we can believe this guy. I don't know what to believe. Nothing else to find in here. I don't really like that there are shackles here. That's a little weird. Please, I told you the truth, I swear. Hmm. So you say. I guess we can see how the conversation goes with Robert. Maybe we can tell him his part in the crime and keep him alive. I don't know. You want a drink? You want a drink? Uh, well, I mean, maybe, but you don't actually seem to be serving, so... Maybe another time, perhaps. Uh, what's going on up here? From Haven Bay. The port is closed by order yeah. of Robert well, we know that, but... Back off. Alright. Uh, I'm assuming he's just going to be back down the way.
I think that the option we have selected is going to be the best way to conclude this one. Everybody did seem to go a little crazy. Granite, Lewis did chase him out of the area down to the warehouse, hung him up and shot him in the head. But he, he did seem pretty sincere, so... Uh, well, let's focus on the task at hand. We found the murderer. Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? We're not gonna lie. And just as I suspected, the Innsmouth or Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Just ask the bartender. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting old. Oh, no. We're not even telling him. See what we're not even telling him about the, the supernatural walls. element of it. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Well, Thank you. Mr. Throg Morton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Okay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to a boat? So we kind of threw that guy like completely under the bus there. We didn't really tell him anything about the supernatural influence that drove everybody mad, but, you know, I feel like that's okay. Regardless of what happened that caused the violence, he did completely leave the body strung up. You know, in the warehouse, he didn't try to tell anybody what happened or figure out what he'd done, and he just kind of hit out at the bar, which is something you do when you're completely guilty and know that you're guilty. And so, I feel like it's fine. Probably would have been an easier, better way to approach it, but we weren't going to make both parties happy no matter what, and now we're in this guy's good graces. And he seems like a very powerful person in this community, so it's going to be good to be in tight with him, I think. So we're investigating cases. Let's let's go with this. I don't know how much we want to tell him about ourselves. Let's just say we're investigating cases of insanity. I mean, I don't know if this will be a, a plot point or not, but... I'm looking into an outbreak of erratic behavior and madness. Yeah. All linked to shared visions of this place. Indeed. Then our goals align. This... Inexplicable hysteria has spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Okay, so why a geological expedition? Or we could ask any link between the visions and hysteria. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Mm. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant, drowned streets, and a voice calming from the depths. Her words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. Okay, and now we'll ask why are we digging in the earth? A geological expedition. I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness of the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. Oh, they went in the sea, right? You mentioned the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Defied scientific explanation. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? 
And where are the others? So we could look for the others. If we don't know where they're at, it'd probably be a good idea to try to find them, especially the expedition leader. And let's find out if he thinks that the murder and the expedition are linked at all. Maybe he... It seems like maybe he brought the madness back with him. You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. Definitely. Yeah, tell me more about it. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throgmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert, when you finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Okay. So we are working for this guy now, I guess, and since he's treating us like an employee already, let's talk about payments. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. Oh, of course. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. Well, that's good, at I'll least. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Which we desperately uh, need. Bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. We basically garnered that information, so what do we got? Okay, we got a bunch of stuff, and we got Frosty Welcome Case Complete. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? You did. You did, but I'm just gonna keep I gave bothering you. clear you. instructions, did I not? Okay, so... Robert Throgmorton funded the expedition to discover the origin of the mass hysteria gripping Oakmount. Oakmont. The expedition was to explore the seabed near Oakmont. Contact with the expedition was soon lost. Albert was the only known survivor. He subsequently he was subsequently murdered. Was hired to find another expedition member alive or dead. Throgmorton will be waiting for my report in his manor in Southern Old Grove. And we have the key to get into their headquarters. So we could It doesn't really give us a lot of information besides, I'm assuming this is his, uh, his manor. But that could be totally wrong. This could actually be where we need to go. So we'll have to figure that out. One thing we still have to do is check in over at the inn. So, maybe... We see if we can do that before we do anything else. The uh, expedition headquarters are located in Northern Coverside. Crossroads of Asher Road and Huber Avenue. Coverside. Huber Road. And Asher. Well, there's Asher. Somewhere in this area. Asher Road and Hubert Avenue. I see Asher Road. Ah, uh, right here. There we go. Oh no, that's not right. Let's edit that. Place that there on the map. 
So that'll be an objective we need to head to. I do want to check out, um, there's supposedly a boat somewhere waiting to take us towards the inn or the hotel or whatever it is. But the map says that it's up here, so let's find a way to get there. Probably was a much easier way back there somehow. I don't even know if we can get up over here. We can't. Uh, maybe there's just one way. <laughs> Didn't get any experience for that one, so maybe we don't get experience points for <laughs> smashing these things. Yeah, that's incredibly weird to me. Not really sure how to feel about that. No way to go around. Oh, we're stuck behind the car. Yeah, there's no way that I could see to even get back to those other streets. Um, unless we walk all the way down over here, I guess. And there's not a lot of stuff to like find out in the world as we're just kind of wandering around. There hasn't been a lot of items or resources or ammunition to really make wandering around too worth it. So I kind of hope we just find the way up there. Pretty quickly. I wonder if there's not like a back exit. So like through this house perhaps. No. It'd be too convenient for there to be a back door we didn't see the first time through. Oh, okay, so maybe the police that were here, now they've moved, and now we can get through, I guess? Yes, okay. Oh, we're not looking too good. Okay, and we wake up and everything is fine. And did we just teleport to the hotel? We read this in the, in our log, so. Okay, um, I guess that just walking into the new area must have just put us right at the, uh, at the Devil's Reef Hotel, so. We had some quick travel happen there, because we were all the way down there. And now we are all the way up here, which is actually much closer to our objective, so maybe... I mean, I wonder how open the world is. Like, can we go back? I'm assuming we could just go back to this area and zone back in. If we wanted to, if we wanted to explore some more. I don't know that there's really any reason to do that. We weren't finding a whole lot. And maybe we'll have some more places of interest to investigate here. I'd like to investigate these places. 
possibly we'll hit these two on the way to our objective and this one later if we get anything sending us over here. But it will probably be a good time to take a little bit of a break here. And when we come back, we'll check out the hotel and we'll head over to some of those places of interest before we go and investigate the Explorers Guild and see if we can find out what those guys were up to. I'm really having a lot of fun with this. I'm excited to see more of the story. I'm really enjoying a lot of the investigation mechanics that we use to figure these things out and how we have to piece things together. And then beyond that, even after we form our deductions, we have to decide which way the story plays out. And sometimes that's going to involve apparently making these choices that are not inherently good or bad. It's just whatever we determine to be the truest the truest possible scenario we'll try to go with. That one we kind of threw that guy under the bus, Lewis. But I don't feel too bad because he did kind of hang the guy up on hooks and shoot him right in the head. And when the other people acted violently, they weren't as calculated when they were being affected by the bloodlust or whatever. So, Alright guys, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you again real soon. Take care and wish me luck.